Hi guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? How's all you witches out there? Um, it is so freaking cold in my house. Um, I didn't have the heat or anything on. My husband just left for work. And I went in there and checked the thermometer because it was like, it is like, I felt like I'm outside basically. So I went in there to look at the thermometer and it was 50 degrees. I'm like, okay, it's literally colder in the house than it is outside. It's 53 degrees outside right now and it was 50 degrees inside. And I, like my toes, my nose, like everything was freezing. And I went in there in my son's room and I was like, he looked like he was like snowed up into a ball and I was like, he has got to be freezing. So I was like, I don't care. I'm turning the heat on. I'm sorry. My husband's going to be mad at me, but the heat had to come on. Okay. It's freezing. And I had to make me a hot coffee because I need something to warm me up. It is so freaking cold. Like I really think this year, you guys, it is going to be. A snow like a blizzard everywhere I mean I don't mean to jinx anything but I really think it's gonna be a cold winter that's just my opinion but it doesn't snow too often here in the south but I got a feeling it's gonna snow just putting that out there um for a video today perfect for cold cold snuggly weather um, I am going to do something that I call, first of all, did I welcome you to my channel? I can't remember. I have been, my ADD has been so bad lately. I, I mean, my son even questioned me like, mom, what's going on with your ADD? Like I never had ADD in my life. Well, I don't think I, I've never been diagnosed with ADD, but like I get so sidetrack these days like there's a lot going on in my brain and so like I'm like squirrel 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 so if you're new to my channel welcome and please make sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and if you have been here before hello again my friends thank you for joining us today so I am going to explain to you what I'm doing but first of all this might be a little clue a little clue we do I had the stack of books. So what I'm going to do every month is I'm going to do what we're going to call. If you guys are familiar with uh, makeup, monthly makeup videos, like at the end of the month, you talk about your favorites. Well, in book world, you don't really talk about your favorites, but you do something called a monthly wrap up. And this is my October monthly wrap up. So I'm going to talk about the books I read in October. So if you're interested in things like that, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do beauty and books. Um, sometimes I'll throw in some other stuff as well, like fashion. But yeah, if you love books, then you're, you've come to the right place today. Make sure if you're cold like me, have a very cozy sweater on. I have some cozy socks on and some warm beverage because we're going to dive in to the books I read or tried to read for the month of October. So, cheers to y'all. Alright, so let's start with this book, <clears throat> Run on Red. I read this book, like I said, in October. It is by Nicole. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but it says, um, I believe that is a I-H-L-I -I or something like that. This is considered a thriller, um, and it looked pretty creepy. Um, I saw this on TikTok, so I was really intrigued by the, a lot of people were saying that it was, uh, one of those books where you can't stop reading that, reading it. You have to, like, continuously read, 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 and I have a lot to say about this book, okay? Um... So basically, it is supposed to be like a cat and mouse type of a book. This is a heart-pounding read, is what it says at the top. 
Um, the cover, like I said, looked really creepy. It's got this girl kind of looking in her rearview mirror. And there's like headlights behind her on this creepy, very creepy, isolated, dark, dark road. You see like very wooded area. So I was like, okay, this sounds like I love thrillers. So this sounds like a banger. And like I said, it was promoted on TikTok as a very like fast paced, can't put it down, heart racing thriller. So I was like all about that life. So um yeah i was excited um needless to say guys this book was short okay this book was how many pages are you this book was under 300 pages so it was like 280 and it felt like this book was 700 pages this was like torture to me this is not this is not my type of thriller um so i mean i'm not trying to diss anybody but like this book was horrible i don't recommend it um especially like if you're like me and you have been reading thrillers for a while maybe if this is your first thriller ever that you've ever ever read i don't even know if i could recommend that but like Let's just say it was. Okay, fine. Try it. Try it. Give it a go. But I'm going to have to give this book, Run on Red, a one star. And I normally don't give thrillers a one star. I'm usually pretty invested in thrillers. Like, I give them two to three stars, like, low. But, like, this is a one star. Give anything away, so I'm not going to tell you anything else. But, like, basically the headlights in the background there's two men that are in a truck and they won't stop following these two girls that's all you need to know um and yeah it's that's basically the majority of the book is like just that and then maybe you get to like this page or this page and then you find out a little bit more but it was just like such a boring book I was so bored, number one. I thought the reasoning of whatever happened in this book was stupid reasons. And it just made me very angry. And there was some, um, pretty sure there was some, some S.A. in it. So, look for trigger warnings. And just, yeah, there's she people in this book. I gave it a she score. I gave it a one. <sighs> was like, it took me, I swear it took me. I can read a book in a few days. <sighs> I feel like this took so long to read. I feel like it took me two weeks to read 280 pages, which is ridiculous. It's like so ridiculous that like I had to make myself like, maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll, it didn't. It didn't get better. It didn't get better. So, that's all I'm going to say about Run Red. But, like, if you love it, good for you. Like, we just don't like the same things. But, like, would I recommend it? No. Run on Red. One star. star. Alright. Let's turn it up a little bit, okay? This right here is called A Flicker in the Dark by Stacy Wilt. Willing ham willing willing that's hard to say willing willing ham stacy willingham flicker in the dark i love the cover i love the blue against the yellow i think it's really pretty this is a how long is this book this is uh 350 something pages so when chloe davis was 12 years old Six teenage girls went missing in her small Louisiana town. By the end of the summer, her own father had confessed to the crimes and was put away for life, leaving Chloe and the rest of her family to grapple with the, with the truth and try to move forward while dealing with the aftermath. So this is about 20 years later. So 20 years later, Chloe is now a psychologist and she lives in 
Baton Rouge. Um, she's getting married. She has a fiance who's like all that in a bag of chips and she her life is like finally where she wants it but she still she still even though her father is locked up she still she's still scared of the dark she still gets like spooked about things and she always has this like unsettling feeling um, so yeah, I liked it. It was one of those books I couldn't put down. I really wanted to know, like, I don't want to say much, but I really wanted to know more about Chloe and the, and the story. Um, it's really good. This one right here, I love this book. Like I said, it's a four star for me. It kept, kept me like, did I figure anything out? Um, I want to say mid through, I kind of figured out one of the plot twists. Um, I was like, I got a feeling, I just got a feeling, you know, I got a feeling. My feeling was right, so I guessed one of the plot twists. Um, so that's kind of why I bumped down and from a, instead of a five star, I gave it a, a four star. But yeah, it was a really good book. Um, it's a good book to kind of curl up with in October, November and read. So if you haven't checked out A Flicker in the Dark, it's a good one. All right, next, Paul. Oh, I gotta have a drink for this one. Okay. Stranger Upstairs, Thriller. That was a thriller. All these are all these thrillers. Pretty sure, yeah. All these are thrillers. So, how many did I read? One, two, three, four, five, six books in October. Okay. All right. So this one I got from Book of the Month. It's called The Stranger Upstairs. I was so excited about this book, you guys. I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it is pretty creepy story, but not like you're thinking. So. On the back of it, it says a gruesome history, a hostile neighborhood, a new owner with a shocking secret. Welcome to Blackwood House. Um, I didn't like the way the storyline was going, honestly. And I thought it was a little, at first it was kind of creepy, but the main character is really annoying. She's a really annoying character. So it was really hard for me to like her. And that's weird coming from me because I personally love weird characters. I love unreliable narrators. And this main character is definitely unreliable. Definitely unreliable. But I just didn't like her personality at all. And I just, I just couldn't finish the book. But I did want to know, like, okay, let me just kind of see what, what this book's about. Let me see what happens, blah, blah, blah. I skimmed, so I kind of know a little bit. I mean, I'll, I'm not, obviously not going to tell you what happens, because in case you want to read it, I don't want to, like, spoil it for you. But it kind of, the book kind of ends, I believe, kind of like on a cliff note. Like, is that the word, a cliff note? It leaves you, like confused like not in a good way it leaves you confused like what did i what the fuck did i just read kind of thing like what now so i'm not really sure how i feel about this book like like i said i, I don't recommend it i didn't have to and then i skimmed it i just it's not for me it's not for me i love with all my heart and soul um alice feeney like she is amazing she's one of my top favorite thriller authors if i had to pick fit my favorite thriller authors it would be alice feeney freedom mcbiden raleigh sager woo, woo, love me some raleigh sager you either love raleigh or you don't raleigh sager oh my god 
So those are my top three. Who else do I love? Oh shit, who else do I love? I can't think. Oh, Lisa Jewell. I'll say my top four. So Lisa Jewell, Raleigh Sager, Freda McFadden, and uh, Alice Feeney. Why can't I remember her name? So those are my top four thriller authors. Like when they say they're coming out with a book, you better know, you better believe I'm pre-ordering that book, I'm getting that book, I'm reading that book, I'm not putting that book down until it's finished. That's what happened with this book. So, went ahead and pre-ordered it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love me some Alice Feeney, okay? This was called Good Bad Girl. What did I give it? I didn't give it a five star, which is weird because usually Alice Feeney for me is a five star star that's why she's my top four thriller author but in this time this time I gave her I wanted to give her a three and a half but you know what I gave her a four for several reasons one I felt like this had a good message to it a couple of good messages to this book um so that's why I gave it a four also because it's Alice Feeney. Um, and also because I couldn't put the book down. I really could not put this book down. Oh my gosh, my battery is dying. Um, yeah, I couldn't put this book down. It was so interesting. So interesting. It's about women. It's about the relationships of women. So, I feel like if you have women in your life maybe with drama like I do or whatever this book might be right up your alley this is more to me it's not really a thriller it's more of a kind of toxic I don't want to give it away so I'm just gonna say female dynamic like it's very toxic it, it's when you start reading this book you're super confused like I was so confused and usually I am confused when I read Alice Feeney. I'm not even going to lie. Like, it takes me a while. I'll have to go back and be like, wait, what, 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 Alice? What, Alice Feeney? But yeah, I was super confused at the first chapter. I was like, wait, I got to go back and figure this out. When I figured it out, I was okay. Now, the end of this book, oh, wow. I didn't see it coming. I did not see the, I kept like, what, wait what i was like i was telling harrison like the plot twist just kind of wait what it blew my mind so that's another reason why i gave it a four star because if there's a plot twist that i can't guess and it blows my mind i'm all about it now one of the plot twists i knew like mm, early on early on i knew that there was something going on and i was like yeah i think that's that but the end, I was very confused. I was like, what? What? Um, it's good. It's not rock, paper, scissors. It's not. I love me a domestic thriller. I will always love a domestic thriller. Um, but this is good. It's really good. I don't think, to me, I don't think it's a thriller. I think it's more of a... It's a little bit of a mystery because you're like confused and you're like, who are these characters? And you're trying to figure out like, who is she? Who is he? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm confused. So, I would say it's more of a mystery. Not necessarily like a thriller. There is murder in here. Um, I believe two people are murdered. Yeah. Two people, right? I want to say two people are murdered. Um, but I'll give you a little, like, my battery is about to die. But I'll give you a little synopsis. Um, so it says, when bad things happen to good people, sometimes good people have to do bad things. And that's basically what the story is about. Um, 20 years after a baby is stolen from a stroller, a woman is killed. Um, the two crimes are now linked and spark a mystery so yeah i feel like it's a mystery definitely a mystery more than thriller so if you like a good like cozy mystery like, like there's nothing scary about this i don't feel like i mean 
obviously getting your baby stolen is scary but like scary scary you know what i mean like weird creepy scary no this is more of a mystery like who done it like a who done it type of thing so if you like this types of books you love alice beanie good bad girl i gave it a four loved it i don't think it's her best work definitely don't think it's her best work but i will read anything from her um okay i have two more books but my battery signs so i don't really know how this is gonna go um this is what lies in the woods by kate ellis marshall oh my god this one again five stars how many five stars did i have we'll talk about that in a minute i get sidetracked blah, 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 blah. okay squirrel what lies in the woods by kate alice marshall now, i've said this like five million times but hopefully i can get through this without being interrupted this was a five star for me um i i don't want to give anything away about this book but it was an amazing book they were 11 when they sent a killer to prison they were heroes but they were also liars um and then it kind of naomi shaw is the main character used to believe in magic 22 years ago she and her two best friends cassidy and olivia um sent no spent sorry i don't have my glasses spent the summer roaming in the woods imagining a world of ceremony and wonder and goddesses and the goddess game they played became an obsession and a refuge for the three girls and that's all i'm going to tell you about it but it was an awesome book it was five stars for me i will say i don't want to tell you but you probably already know but anyway if you if you know you know if you know you know all right so last book i read in october was lisa jewel lisa jewel lisa jewel's my girl lisa jewel none of this is true i will say this book right here this book and this book i couldn't really get these two books out of my mind this this one for other reasons but this book five star all the way and this book i could not get out of my head because i don't want to tell you a lot but the ending leaves you wondering like the title says basically did i just read what i just read was it true was it not true like i'm really confused and i think she wanted you to kind of have your own conclusion so being a mom I really had to think um, towards the end of this book. And it's basically, I don't want to give too much away. So I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what I was going to say. But it made me think, like I still think about this book today. Like I still think about it. I think it's an amazing book. I still think about this book. I think it's amazing. Um, but they're very, very different very different books this one is very i don't know it gives you like this really unsettling eeriness to this book so i feel like this is a thriller like a true thriller like i was kind of on, on edge reading that book this book it was a thriller but it's also a mystery because it's kind of like at the end it leaves you like wait what did i just read like huh I'm confused so you kind of make your own conclusion i want to say at the end of the story and that's why i love it so much because it is a real thinker like you really think about this book and it took me a while to stop thinking about this book yeah when i read a book and i really like it i will talk harrison's head off about it and we really talked about this book so anyway um i'll give you a little taste of what this book basically it's about um two women who are um celebrating their 45th birthday at a restaurant and one is a podcaster and one is a mom and 
they I think they strike up, strike up conversation and one of them's like hey do you think that maybe you know you would want to listen to my story and you know the, the one of the girls obviously um the mom wanted to talk to the podcaster and she's like you know i want to tell my story you know like do you think you would like it um do you think it would be a thing and she's like yeah yeah i'm like doing you know these podcasts about women right now and i think you'd be like great for my podcast and that's where it kind of begins and it just takes you on this roller coaster of emotions of thoughts of like there's a lot to think about and this is a pretty thick book i want to say but i feel like i want to say it's almost 400 pages but i feel like i went through this book so fast i cannot put this book down i could not put this book down there were so many twists in this book there were so many twists in this book so these are my two five star uh books for october um hold on five star my five star books for october this was my four star book for october this was my other four star book for october and then this was my one star book for october and this was my october dnf so this is my october wrap up i hope you guys enjoyed it if you enjoy videos like this please make sure to comment down below if you love reading let me know what you are reading or what you plan on reading in november because it is november now like what is november you guys so let me know what is on your tbr for november i have so many books on tbr i don't know what i'm gonna get to but i will be reading books and i will have another wrap up in november at the end for you guys to check out so make sure to do so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel leave me in the com leave a comment down below so we can chat and like i said let me know what book you're reading or plan on reading and what did you think about some of these books without leaving spoilers um and if you're not subscribed and you like book content make sure to hit that subscribe button for you Alright guys, I will talk to you later. Bye!